Find all integers, a, b, and c, satisfying one is less than a, which is less than b, which is less than c, such that, a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, is a divisor of a, b, c minus 1. Because a, b, and c are positive integers, and 1 is less than a, which is less than b, which is less than c. So a must be greater than or equal to 2, b must be greater than or equal to 3, and c must be greater than or equal to 4. Because a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, is a divisor of a b c minus 1. So a b c minus 1, over a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, must be greater than or equal to 1. And clearly, which must be less than a b c, over a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1. Which can be written as, a over a minus 1, times b over b minus 1, times c over c minus 1. a over a minus 1, can be written as, 1 plus, 1 over a minus 1. b over b minus 1, can be written as, 1 plus, 1 over b minus 1. c over c minus 1, can be written as, 1 plus, 1 over c minus 1. As a is greater than or equal to 2, so 1 plus, 1 over a minus 1, must be less than or equal to 1 plus, 1 over 2 minus 1. As b is greater than or equal to 3, so 1 plus, 1 over b minus 1, must be less than or equal to 1 plus, 1 over 3 minus 1. As c is greater than or equal to 4, so 1 plus, 1 over c minus 1, must be less than or equal to 1 plus, 1 over 4 minus 1. Which is equal to, 2 times 3 over 2, times 4 over 3, which is 4. So a b c minus 1, over a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, is greater than or equal to 1, and is less than 4. Thus, it can only take values 1, 2, or 3. So we divide the problem into three cases. Case 1, a b c minus 1, over a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, equals 1. Then a b c minus 1, equals a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1. By expanding, we can now write, equals a b c, plus a plus b plus c, minus a b plus b c plus c a, minus 1. a b c minus 1 on the left side of the equation, and that on the right side of the equation cancel. So a plus b plus c, minus a b plus b c plus c a, equals 0. By rearranging, we can now write, a equals b c, plus a minus 1 times b plus c. As a is greater than or equal to 2, so which must be greater than or equal to, b c plus b plus c. As both b and c are greater than a, so which must be greater than a squared plus 2a. Which implies that, a squared plus a, is less than zero. Which is impossible. So there are no solutions for case 1. Case 2, a b c minus 1, over a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, equals 2. Then a b c minus 1, equals 2 times a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1. By expanding, we can now write, equals 2 a b c, plus 2 times a plus b plus c, minus 2 times a b plus b c plus c a, minus 2. Rearrange and simplify the equation, we have, 2 times a plus b plus c, minus 2 times a b plus b c plus c a, plus a b c, minus 1 equals 0. If a equals 2, then equation 2 becomes, 2 times 2 plus b plus c, minus 2 times 2 b plus b c plus 2 c, plus 2 b c, minus 1 equals 0. Simplify the equation, we have, 2 times b plus c equals 3. Note that, the left side of the equation is even, while the right side of the equation is odd. So case 2 has no solutions, when a equals 2. If a equals 3, then equation 2 becomes, 2 times 3 plus b plus c, minus 2 times 3b plus bc plus 3c, plus 3bc, minus 1 equals 0. Simplify the equation, we have, 
4 times b plus c, minus bc equals 5. Rearrange the equation, we have, b minus 4, times c minus 4, equals 11. As b and c are positive integers, and c is greater than b. So b minus 4 must equal 1. And c minus 4 must equal 11. Which means b equals 5, and c equals 15. So a equals 3, b equals 5, and c equals 15. Now we verify. When a equals 3, b equals 5, and c equals 15, a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, equals 2 times 4, times 14, which is 112. And a b c minus 1, equals 3 times 5, times 15 minus 1, which is 224. 112, is a divisor of 224. So a equals 3, b equals 5, and c equals 15, is a solution. If a is greater than or equal to 4, then b must be greater than or equal to 5, and c must be greater than or equal to 6. As showed above, a b c minus 1, over a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, is less than 1 plus, 1 over a minus 1, times 1 plus, 1 over b minus 1, times 1 plus, 1 over c minus 1, which is less than or equal to, 1 plus, 1 over 4 minus 1, times 1 plus, 1 over 5 minus 1, times 1 plus, 1 over 6 minus 1, which is equal to, 4 over 3, times 5 over 4, times 6 over 5, which is 2. So when a is greater than or equal to 4, a b c minus 1, over a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, is less than 2. Which implies that, case 2 has no solutions, when a is greater than or equal to 4. Case 3, a b c minus 1, over a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, equals 3. Then a b c minus 1, equals 3 times a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1. By expanding, we can now write, equals 3 a b c, plus 3 times a plus b plus c, minus 3 times a b plus b c plus c a, minus 3. Rearrange and simplify the equation, we have, 3 times a plus b plus c, minus 3 times a b plus b c plus c a, plus 2 a b c, minus 2 equals 0. If a equals 2, then equation 3 becomes, 3 times 2 plus b plus c, minus 3 times 2 b plus b c plus 2 c, plus 4 b c, minus 2 equals 0. Simplify the equation, we have, 3 times b plus c, minus b c equals 4. Rearrange the equation, we have, b minus 3, times c minus 3, equals 5. As b and c are positive integers, and c is greater than b. So b minus 3 must equal 1. And c minus 3 must equal 5. Which means b equals 4, and c equals 8. So a equals 2, b equals 4, and c equals 8. Now we verify. When a equals 2, b equals 4, and c equals 8, a minus 1, times b minus 1, times c minus 1, equals 1 times 3, times 7, which is 21. And a b c minus 1, equals 2 times 4, times 8, minus 1, which is 63. 21 is a divisor of 63. So a equals 2, b equals 4, and c equals 8, is a solution. If a equals 3, then equation 3 becomes, 3 times 3 plus b plus c, minus 3 times 3 b plus b c plus 3 c, plus 6 b c, minus 2 equals 0. Simplify the equation, we have, 6 times b plus c, minus 3 b c, equals 7. Rearrange the equation, we have, 3 times b minus 2, times c minus 2, equals 5. Note that, the left side of the equation is divisible by 3, while the right side of the equation is not divisible by 3. So case 3 has no solutions, when a equals 3. As shown above, a cannot be greater than 3. 
so there are only two sets of solutions.